In this video series, we will be implementing Modular Object Oriented Dynamic Learning Environment Moodle. In previous video, we have seen how to install Moodle on your web server. We'll be only changing the interface in this particular video. So here is the site administration appearance. In appearance, you can change the logo. If you see themes here, so I'll click on theme selector. There is one theme here and if I go back to change theme, I can see only two themes are available. One is the classic theme and one is the boost theme. So I can go to Moodle themes. In fact, theme is considered as a plugin, one of the plugins. I'll be using this adaptable theme and there is one guru theme also. This is called eGuru theme. I will recommend you to use one of these themes. There are paid themes also available on theme for us. One of the themes that I like is be dummy but for the time being we'll be using free themes click on download so make sure that you choose the right version 3.11.6 plus so this theme is compatible with 3.11.1 and if i see eguru theme also click on download and this is also compatible with 3.11 we will download both themes here site administration plugins and install plugin so we will install the plugin choose the file from here upload the file and this is theme and upload this theme and install this plugin it is validating now so validation is completed click continue that's it now if i upgrade moodle database now uh, we will also install eGuru theme. Okay, once you install, you can you can make the basic changes into your theme like uh, the appearance, color, and all these things. You can make all the changes from here. You can of course do that later as well. But here you can see your information color, background color, basic settings can be changed. So I'll be leaving that to default. Background image you can change here. Logo so here is my Syncfix logo. Upload this logo here, providing the Pavicon also. Here is my favicon upload and then site title. So I already have this website, Thinkflix Learning Management System. These are all the settings. Front page background image. I'll choose this one. Suppose. Save the changes. Changes has been saved here. Of course, we need to apply the theme now. We'll go back again to site administration and appearance theme selector. Now you can see that adaptable theme is also there we did not uh, till now install eguru theme i'll just show you that also so you can install the plugin now choose the plugin from the file eguru theme upload this file install from plugin continue and it meets all the minimum requirements here is upgrade it has installed the theme successfully now you can again make the changes it is asking for the logos so i'll be just adding one logo here site colors so i'll be using warm red i'll just show you what are these marketing spots once we apply this theme so save changes here this is the slider image you can change the slider image put the multiple slider images here so i'll also leave this as default save the changes site administration appearance eguru theme is also appearing here i will not do anything i'll just go to theme selector here click on the default theme change theme now you can see these themes are now available so i'll apply this theme i'll show you how it looks like now this theme has been applied here i'll just log out and here is how it, the the site will appear the users here is the site administration theme selector and i'll be changing the theme now to eguru so this theme is the one which i like most and now you can see here i i had chosen the red color so that red color is appearing here now if i go to dashboard you can see here logout so this home page can be changed here all these icons can be changed all this text can be changed the footer can be changed all these columns can be changed i'll show you one by one how we can do this login again to your platform now you can see the login page has also changed site administration appearance click on eguru change the logo i'll delete this logo and i'll upload another logo which is upload this logo and save the changes refresh the page the logo is now changed blue one will be better so i can choose blue i'll be now going back again to the home page slider so if you see home page slider you have only one slider right now so if you want to add multiple slides here it is fine otherwise you can leave it blank now is the marketing so i'll show you what are these marketing spots if you see down here this these are the marketing spots so it's multilingual online study community support and responsive design if you want to change it you how you can change it so you can go here so globe so the icon is globe you can choose the icons from the font awesome so this globe was used so title i can change is relevant knowledge i can choose this particular text and there is text now its icon was globe i will be choosing book here fa book here i'll be typing in marketing i'll be typing book 
save here and let me show you how it appears you can see here book and as you can see this was what i changed so i'll be changing one by one quickly marketing spots have been changed here I refresh this and you can see these are all the changes so we'll go back again here into the footer block here we go i can change these links for contact facebook that's it save changes now you can see everything has been changed home screen is changed now all the marketing icons has been changed this text is changed so this particular page will give enough information to the visitors that what exactly this particular website is doing and they can click to your social icons and they can reach to your social accounts here and as you can see there are no courses available right now so i'll be creating a course and i'll show you how we can create the course step by step in this video we have downloaded the theme and we have applied the theme in moodle and then we have made some basic changes in the theme in next video i'll show you entire configuration of moodle so stay tuned and see you in next video